Hey Achievers, how is everybody doing? Welcome back. If you're new to this channel, welcome. This is your friend Rishi Raj coming back at you with another video about simple tricks, techniques and strategies that you can use to improve your Amazon business. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the various aspects which a customer sees when he's looking at your listing or when he's exploring your product. So this will help you prioritize uh, your focus and your efforts in improving those aspects of your listing. All right, guys. Now this is gonna be a very short video. It's it's very simple. I'm not gonna be going into detail about everything. But if you want help with any of these things that I I'll be talking about, you can post comment down below. Reach out to me. Uh, probably set up a Skype call and we can talk about it in detail later. So. Uh, how do you optimize your listing for customers and for conversions on Amazon? So what you need to do here is think like a customer think like a customer uh, Let's say you were to you were supposed to go ahead and buy a yoga mat on Amazon So what do you do? So the first thing that you do is open amazon.com or the mobile application that Amazon has and search for yoga mat Usually the most broad keyword unless you're already ser uh, searching for something specific uh, Probably if somebody else recommended something to you But otherwise if you're looking for a very general key a general product What you're gonna do is basically go ahead and type the most broad keyword and then look through the results that Amazon gives you so the first thing the user would see, uh, sorry, let's use the word customer. The first thing the customer would see if your listing ever appears in your in the Amazon's search result is the thumbnail image, which is basically your main image and the title of the product. So what you need to do is focus on these two elements. I'm talking about this in sort of like a ranking manner of priority that you should have in terms of improving these aspects of your listing so the first thing that the user ever the customer ever sees is your main image but in a smaller size in a much smaller size because when you're on your mobile device and when you search keyword you'll get like a bunch of listings on one particular screen I'll probably put a sort of like a screenshot right here so that you get a big picture of what I'm talking about so you need to make sure that that small image that small version of your main image stands out in that listing. You could do that in a couple of different ways. Uh, although you've got some restrictions around it, I'm aware about that. You have to keep your background white. There's no escaping that aspect, but you could probably play around with it a little bit. Maybe let's say, for example, let's talk about yoga mat. Let's say you're selling yoga mat. You're not selling a bunch of mats, but if all the listings are you know, showing one flat open mat straight uh, as their thumbnail image, what you could do is you could show a flat mat and you could show a rolled over mat besides it, even though you're just selling one, which is going to be clarified on the title of the product, but your image can be like this so that it stands out from the rest of the images of yoga mat. So the highest priority that I would give uh, is basically based on what the customer sees. So when you get your search results you don't really care about the title much you actually visually look at the pictures or the, or the small thumbnails of these products uh, in your search result so the first thing that you should optimize is your main image and you should optimize it for mobile devices uh, because that's where the customer usually searches the product and add it to card, they, they, may, they may not check out right away, but that's where they do their first kind of research if they're wanting to buy a certain product. After your thumbnail image, uh, a customer usually looks at and reads the title of the product. The title of the product is very, very important. Apart from keeping it very keyword rich, you've got to have your title very keyword rich so that Amazon can index it for certain keywords. You need to also make sure your title is catchy, and it's sellable don't just don't just uh, put like a bunch of keywords in there uh, so that when a customer reads he's not able to really read it he's just going ahead and reading a random bunch of words it shouldn't sound like that it should it should sound like you're trying to sell that product and you're ta trying to tell about that product uh, tell about the specifications of product that product through that title so make sure you've got the right thumbnail and the right title next if you if you if you again think like a customer when you're searching for a product and you get these results on your screen what you're gonna do next you're actually gonna pick a couple 
maybe let's say you picked one you fixated on one and what are you gonna do next you're gonna click on it when you click on it you're gonna go to the detail page right now do this on your mobile yourself and uh, and you'll get what I'm talking about maybe you can do it right now as I am talking about it with you so when you click on a product your product detail page will open up you'll see the title at the very top and then immediately below it you will see the uh, product image the main image again the thumbnail image in a little larger size than it was before in the previous screen so imagine that you have like a series of doors okay laid out until the customer reaches the cart or the add to cart action you've got a series of doors and you've got to make those doors as attractive and as valuable as possible so that the customer picks your door and goes through all of your doors and finally decides to check out imagine it imagine it if you can in this manner so now the next thing that the customer usually does is you know swipes through all the different images just swipes through all the different product images that you have which I believe is going to be between five to eight I think I'm I think I think you only see five of them when you're on a mobile device so you need to make sure all of those images are actually very captivating for the customer some of the strategies that I personally do on my images is basically add a little bit of copy on all of these images talking about the uh, key attributes or the key USPs of the product make sure you optimize your images all of the images must talk a little bit about your product next if your customer goes through these two doors now if he is still stuck to your product and if he hasn't pressed back on your mobile website or on the Amazon app if he hasn't yet pressed back to check out the next product if, if he's still there what he's gonna do next is basically scroll down and read the description now if you do this on your mobile what you will notice is the description comes above the bullet points although on the desktop you would see the bullet points at the top at the top and then uh, below there will be a description of the product but if you're on a mobile device you'll see the description above the bullet points so make sure and you'll, you'll just see a couple of lines you'll not see the entire description you'll just see about uh, I believe uh, about 20 to 25 characters of your description which is basically going to be the starting of your description so make sure you optimize those two or three lines for the mobile okay because most of the users are searching for mobile once again optimize it make your copy talk to your customer make it sellable don't make it sound very robotic don't make it sound like a uh, uh, spec document make sure you talk to the customer and take as much as one advantage of you as a po as possible imagine the imagine as if you are the salesperson of your product and you're talking to the customer and selling it uh, and convincing them to buy your product so use all of these different touch points uh, to your leverage and to your advantage so in order of priority first of all the most important thing is your main image in different versions basically as a thumbnail or as a big image itself optimize that then optimize your title then you need to go ahead and optimize the first two lines of your description because that usually turns up at the top on your mobile device and then you need to optimize your bullet points add some text to your images because it's allowed and you can you can basically convince the customer just by him looking at all these images without even reading all the content because not many of them read the content they actually go ahead and compare products by their images so if you are talking to them through the images just by little tags or little keywords uh, they might just convert so make sure you follow all these simple rules and order of priority which I think is important and I've done it myself do these simple things and I hope you can get more sales on your product for your Amazon FBA business so thank you so much for watching if you like this video if you found value in it please hit the like button please subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate if you could also uh, uh, hit the notification icon so that you can be notified when I give you free more free value it really motivates me uh, to make free content for you as much as I can as much as my time allows thank you for watching once again if you have any more questions if you want to reach out I, I'll put down my mail below you we can connect on Skype uh, you can just re reach out to me or you can join my free FBA group uh, on Facebook I'll put the link down below and I'll see you in the next video
Tchau.